as I was saying, Jonathan recommended this this clip right here of Raptor. Raptor is a well-known um, gaming streamer. He's uh, he's very good at what he does. Very successful, and he got to test out Star Citizen for the very first time. Let me dial down my music a little bit. I feel like it's a little loud, right? So he he had the uh, he had an opportunity to check out Star Citizen for the first time. And um, so we're going to react to it. Um, Jonathan sent me to a specific part to watch, start from a, a particular part. So we're going to watch from there and we're going to see his initial reaction when entering a ship, I, I believe. Um, I believe that's what's going to happen. All right. So let's get right into it. For those that are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you're on YouTube, if you're on Twitch, make sure you follow there as well. Right, let's get right into it. I'm gonna pause my music and we're gonna listen to this. All right, let's get right into it. In a restaurant. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm freaking out. I know this is so cool to me. This is so cool. Uh, how do I back out of the menu? Oh, there it goes. Wait, no, there. Oh, we gotta go to Hangar Twenty. This is so cool. <laughs> Have you guys played this game before? You all know what you're talking about. This game is so cool. <laughs> He's Wait, just so amazed by the little, the smallest things. I guess we're used this to it. Goes up to five. <laughs> no, you gotta scroll. You guys have you been have playing this for years. I've been missing out. I've been missing out. He doesn't even know. Uh -oh. Oh, <laughs> this wheel? is definitely okay. his first. Oh, time. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, chat. <laughs> this is so cool. Now I understand why people sold their families and were just like, "Sorry, honey, uh, I'm getting into, I'm getting into Star Citizen." <laughs> people sold, sold businesses, <laughs> private islands, yachts. Why, oh, why experience man. real life when you could just game it out, bro? <laughs> this is we're gonna have to name our ship, and I think we're gonna name our ship after the next person who becomes a Raptor Ultimate member. And the kick. That's the ship. <laughs> Bro, look at him. <laughs> oh, I thought you guys said this was a big ship. This kind of looks a little small. Yeah, this is, uh, this looks like a compact, guys. I thought you said this was, uh, big. Look at his face. <laughs> yeah, this one. Um, imagine parallel parking this one. <laughs> this is a medium sized vessel. Are you. New member, welcome. What's bigger than this? Gun is no becoming a raptor egg, dude. This game is amazing. This is medium size. Hammerhead is... Oh, the Reclaimer is bigger? Everybody wanted the Carrick, so... I guess we can see the Hammerhead later. The Reclaimer is bigger? Going to third person, yeah? Oh, that's, uh... We're gonna need a bigger boat. This thing is so cool. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the uh, Chevy Astro van. Is anybody else getting Chevy Astro vans? The space shuttle feels with this. 890 is the biggest. What, what's 890? Is that like the weight or the... This is amazing. I want... Like, I want to hang out with you guys and just go have space... This is cool. Is this for all the ramen storage? Oh, 890 is a model? Wow, they did. S this isn't a game. This isn't even a simulator. This is a way of life, dude. <laughs> oh my god. He is so uh, shocked. Tony with the 299, you can land a smaller ship inside of the carrot. There's a. Sh you can put a ship inside this ship? <laughs> can you put a car and a ship in here? Oh my 
my god. How are how are other games not doing this already? <laughs> Officer. How the hell oh are they goodness. How are they not doing this? Why does he have his nine pulled? Dude, I haven't even done a single thing in this game, and I'm just freaking blown away. Thank you. <laughs> so much. Oh, my Star goodness. Star Citizen devs for, like, making this, like, free to play for the weekend. I would have never even touched this game. Oh, my God. This is so cool. How do I get inside? How do I... Does, does like, a giant barn door have to open, or... What do I... How do I do... What do I do? Find the hatch. Well, okay. Well, now we got to play Carmen San Diego and find that. <laughs> Passenger side under the nose. Chat, this is the most amazing game I've ever seen. This is so... This is so ridiculous. I need to call all my friends and ask, like, Pinto and Uthris and everyone else if they've played this. Like, Flight Sim was pretty freaking cool. But... The fact that you can get out of your ship and do this stuff? I need to get out more? No, I need to get into this ship. That's what I gotta do. <laughs> Immortal cheese, you're like a kid in a candy shop. No, I'm like a raptor in a ramen shop. This is... Okay, how do I... How do I get in now? Here's the frickin' landing gear, which is the size of... a car. <laughs> right there? Th where? This thing? This light? Press F. Oh. Yo, look at his face. Dude. Frick. It opens, dude. <laughs> wow. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen, dude. That is. Dude. Oh my god, dude. It frickin' <laughs> Dude, how does it do that? Wow. He is blown away right now. Oh my god, dude. At least we're ADA compliant. Oh my god, dude. I'm dying, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy crap. Chef of Norway with the 20. Don't cry, man. Think about Wendy's. New subscriber shout out. Uh, there's an elevator in this ship? I need to go, otherwise I'm going to get towed. Okay. Yeah, we better go. I'm getting hungry. I'm crying, dude. There, a freaking tear went down my... That's beautiful, dude. There's a freaking elevator. Oh. Are 
those snacks? I'm sorry, if I get lost. Wow, the ship even has a bridge. Is it a suspension bridge or just a truss bridge? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Bro, let me stop it right there. Man. Man, 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 man. Man, let me let me put on the music a little bit right here. We need to have this discussion. We need to have this discussion. Man. Did you guys see how Raptor reacted to this? Did you guys see how Raptor reacted to this? Right? This this is deep. I want you guys to think about this. Now, I've known Raptor for quite some time. He's been playing games a lot of he, he's a uh, for those that don't know, he plays variety of games, right? So He's seen games for years and he's a successful YouTuber. He has almost a million subscribers. So for somebody that's involved with gaming for so long, all throughout his life. And for him to step into Star Citizen for the first time. And for him to react this way. Is telling is telling on the current industry in gaming right now you see this is the reason why a lot of people support star citizen is because throughout our lives we've been playing games and game developers have been giving us the exact same games year after year after year so we've become accustomed to it. RTS games play and feel the same way. First person shooter games play and feel the same way. MMOs play and feel the same way. So now he just stepped into Star Citizen and he's seeing details that no developer has put in. He stepped into the hangar and his, his jaw dropped because he's never seen such a large asset in terms of a vehicle in a game. He opened the ramp of the Carrick and he cried. This is telling on gamers everywhere that this is what people want. And I feel throughout the years, we've been conditioned to accept a certain level of get a certain level of innovation in terms of the gaming industry until Chris Roberts stepped in and said, no, I'm not going to settle. I'm not going to do what everybody's doing. I'm willing to do something new, something fresh, something, something different and something that will push gaming into a whole nother level. So now when that started, a lot of people were against it. A lot of people complained during the process. A lot of people are still complaining. But look, this game is still in alpha. It's still early days. Raptor, who's been a gamer and a successful YouTuber streaming games every day, night in, night out, stepped into Star Citizen for the first time. And I don't think he's ever cried for a simple thing as opening the ramp of a vehicle in a game before i don't think he's ever cried for any game in any game before right so this is telling on what the gamers want what we want and i challenge other developers out there to not settle not to 
don't try to fit into the status quo and do something new if you choose to do it and we can see your vision we will support you like we're supporting star citizen this is so deep you guys don't even understand you guys don't even understand This right here is why I support Star Citizen. This right here. Man, this is deep, man. This, I knew, I had a feeling that he was going to be shocked, but I didn't know he was going to react this way. I had no idea he was going to react this way. And when Star Citizen hits beta, or when it actually goes live, it's going to take the industry by storm. And it's going to be a big win for all gamers because all the other development and publisher companies are going to have to step up to the plate. That's just how I feel, man.